What is up, YouTube? How are you guys doing, man? It is Thursday. It is time for Lunch Break, brought to you by RecTech. Well, guys, it is back to school week, and we have an exciting show planned for you. So without any further ado, I'm going to pass it on over to my main man, your master chef, Greg Muller. What's up, YouTube? Don't adjust your screen. This is not After Hours. This is not Fun Day Friday. Yes, I am still Chef Greg Muller, your Director of Culinary Innovation, but I've got a special guest this week because it is Academy Week here at the Worldwide Headquarters of RecTech. we got none other than Carrie Chastain with Hold Your Horses Barbecue out of Griffin, Georgia. What's up, Carrie? What's going on? Carrie is ready to get a whooping and some brisket and chicken this weekend. By this yeah, guy. right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, guys, before we get started, go ahead and smash that red rectangle in the corner. Go ahead and subscribe and like. Drop this video into your favorite social media platform because it is back to school week here at RecTech Worldwide Headquarters, and we have a, a doozy for you today. We're going to show you how to make chicken That's pot right. pie cups. Shoot you. So good. Oh, yeah. And we're cooking none other on than an RT1250 available at RecTech.com. Now, the coolest part about what we got going on right now is with the purchase of a grill, select grills, you can get an icer cooler 25% off. Huge savings there. You can add that uh, 75 or 40 quart or that 25 quart uh, cooler into your cart and live your best rec tech lifestyle. Smoking it hot and keeping it cold, that's what I'm talking about. But none other mm -hmm. than Chef John of the ones and twos, if you guys have any questions, comments, hatred, maybe you want to talk some talk some shade, or maybe you want to shake off a barbecue legend. This guy, there you go. right now, <laughs> is nationally ranked in the top 10 in two categories in the Kansas City Barbecue Association. That, that's exciting. It is. Super that is exciting. exciting. Been the chasing guy, that dream. The guy that couldn't cook chicken last year is slaying it in chicken <laughs> this year. You've got two grands this year, right? And a reserve. Just a, another reserve, right? Mm -hmm. Just on fire. Cooking on the RT590 and RT1250. If you have any questions about that grill, comment down below. With a perfect 180 last weekend. Hey, uh, no one likes a, you know, a very... Uh, <laughs> I do, Carrie. Don't let him lie. I like it. Hey, I like we it. Like you it. know, the 590 just rocks it. But super simple recipe today. We're gonna to use some leftovers. Earlier in the day, we were doing some smoking. We cooked off some delicious split chicken breasts. Get on in here, Sherb. I love cooking split breasts when it comes to uh, poultry because boneless, skinless breasts, in my opinion, are always kind of like tough and dry, not a lot of flavor. Well, skin helps hold that oh. in. Well, it's also Holds got that, that rib cage on the back again. Again, this is a super easy recipe. This is something you can prep ahead and make your favorite uh, lunch break recipe but if you want this recipe more and jump look, over to uh, rectech.com look at the juice get on in there sure that's still in here mm. and we went 325 I mean, for about 70 minutes to internal temperature of 165 degrees we've got a big bag of frozen mixed vegetables that we thawed out again it's a good balance of a uh, lima beans green beans carrots corn green beans we're taking cheats here because it's academy we've got a lot going on and um, yeah, so we're just gonna pull this off. This is a great way you can meal prep, get a big pack of these. You can make chicken salad, chicken soup. Don't throw away the skin. That's the no, chef's that's right there. No, that's my favorite part. That's the best part. But I can't that's tell what you what this is seasoned with, okay? No, we you can't. You have to watch Product Spotlight today at four o'clock. Jody and John are going crazy. And it is amazing. It is ridiculous. That was the barbecue dad, Jody Flanagan, right over there uh, making a cameo appearance. Chef John, what you got for us, buddy? So uh, we got a question for Carrie. Uh, Let's so go. People out here want to know, Carrie, when did pellet grills start to become allowed in comps? Um, started really showing up about six years ago. Yeah. Okay. Uh, started out in Texas uh, were the first ones. But speaking of being the first for pellet grills, we teamed up for the um, Boss Hog cook-off in 2018? 19. 19. 2019. Mm. You dropped a bomb on that RT... Uh, CMG Beast, and we put a piggy on there. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure Hold Your Horses Barbecue and RecTech teamed up for was it seventh place, sixth place, mm -hmm. something yeah. like that. Fifth, fifth place. That even, was a big jig. Even better, big pig jig. Big Sorry, pig I said G. Boss Hog. I'm all over the place today. It is Academy <laughs> Week. We got a lot going on. We got people already in town um, from all over. We had some visitors last night on After Hours. And if you guys want to check out a really good, we made that square pizza recipe 
Jody Flanagan, myself, Chef John, had a lot of fun. We had some right. visitors from out of town. Oh my God. Shaking some snacks ready. But sure, but look at the moisture and the juice on this. If you want beautifully cooked, seasoned, moist chicken, I'm telling you, don't sleep on those split breasts. Tons of moisture with that rib cage, with and, that bone and, adding a ton of flavor. And don't cook it at 220 forever. Okay, time out. You're, you're dropping barbecue knowledge right here. <laughs> what, what was that? I said don't cook it at 220 forever. So, you, great point. People want to smoke their chicken. You have some nice pinking of the meat, some great wood flavor. Yeah. You don't need to cook this at 225. Your leaner meats, okay, don't benefit from a low and slow cook. Because when you're cooking low and slow for those tough meats like pork butts and briskets, what you're doing is you're converting all of that uh, collagen um, and breaking down all that connective tissue and making it tender. Since this is so lean, it really benefits from being cooked more hot and fast. And roasting it, say 325 and up, you're gonna get great nuances of that wood flavor. You you're go. gonna crisp up that skin. You're not gonna get rubbery skin. And you're gonna develop a ton of flavor with that. But I'm gonna go ahead and add in um, some sour cream. So I've got uh, 12 ounces of sour cream. Chef John, what you got, buddy? Uh, they wanna know what pellets we're using today. We are burning those delicious Rectech Ultimate Blend, blend pellets. You can add a pellet package to the purchase of any grill right now. You can save 71 bucks, get 220 pounds of pellets shipped to your house. And again, you're grilling on the best. Why not cook with the best? That's right. And uh, partner up that Rectech with the delicious. My well, thing with those uh, pellet bundles too, Chef Greg, is I've seen a lot of people buy them and then split them with uh, uh, family members and friends that live yeah. in the same neighborhood. Shoot, yeah. We're gonna add a big old can of cream of chicken soup. And again, this is like a weeknight cheat meal right here. Okay, you cream of mushroom works really good with that too. I love using cream of mushroom and sour cream with leftover brisket for a brisket chili. Because that, my friend, does not suck. But see, speaking of does not suck, we got that Ben's Heifer Dust. If you guys need to up your flavor game, go mm -hmm. ahead, jump over to rectech.com, check out our rub and sauce bundle, add a couple bottles in there. But if you really want stuff to be next level, check out Jody and John today at Product Spotlight. That's going to be 4 o'clock on right. the Facebook page because they got a doozy for you. We're going right. to add two tablespoons of... Um, Try that because that's with the new stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But again, I have no clue what we're talking about. You can't ask me, I'm not gonna tell you. So we got two tablespoons of heifer dust, two tablespoons of freaking Greek. And all we're gonna do is dump this chicken here once it's uh, uh, pulled, stir it up. That's gonna be our filling. If you wanna sweat down some onions, if you wanna roast off or boil off some taters, go right ahead. But again, super simple. This is nothing um, like lunch food, man. It's, it's I loved getting like the uh, chicken casseroles in the lunch line. I was a tray kid. There's nothing wrong with being a tray kid. Okay. <laughs> Chef John was a brown bag kind of guy. I was guy. a brown bag kid for sure. And that's sure. okay too. Chef John, what you got, buddy? All right. So they want to talk about pellets real here. quick, Chef Greg. Let's talk, let's talk pellets. So what are we looking for when we're going out to purchase pellets? Uh, you know, the people who can't come into Rec Tech to purchase the uh, ultimate blend. Yep. So you want to find pellets that are fresh, right? So, you know, you want to use fresh fuel, 100% hardwood. There are great resources out there for you in that. Um, but again, you don't want to use you know, heating fuel. Again, these are pellet grills. Make sure pellets are food safe. There's a lot of uh, great resources on Amazon as well. But you can also, okay, pick up our pellets um, here locally. So if we get this question a good bit, if you're any around the uh, Evans, Georgia area, just join us here at 4301 Evans and Locks Road in beautiful Evans, Georgia, because it's it's partly cloudy outside. Just All warm. right, Carrie, you want to mix that up for me? I'm not going to sure. throw away your skin. Sure, but we've got some pie crust here. And people might be thinking, well, why are we going to use pie crust? Because it's this is easy. lunch lady food, and we ain't got it's no time made. for that. So we're going to roll that out. We're going to cut it in quarters, okay? So we kind of have some triangleage going on, okay? Jumbo muffin cup. I love those. Yeah. Now, you could do this with the mini muffin cups and make, like, hors d'oeuvre size pot pies, but ain't nobody got time for that. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take these pie dough, and I'm going to go ahead and, like, scrunch it around the corners just like that. So each package will come with two pie doughs. This will give you eight delicious crustuses. Now you could also put this inside of a, um, you know, like a nine inch pie pan. That's fine too. But again, this is great for the family. It's a great job for the kids because it's all about making it fun and exciting. And this is a exciting. great use of leftover chicken doing oh, yeah. it this way. And you can also do this with pulled pork. You can mm. do this with brisket. All sorts of really good stuff. Well, I mean, I don't know about you, there's not really leftover brisket around my house, you know. Never at ours. No. Well, I mean, especially when you're putting, like, you know, first place briskets in a box. I mean, people are paying you big, big money for that brisket after the fact, so. All right, so we're going to go ahead and add our pie crust here. 
Now this will make 12, um, this recipe here will make 12 pie crusts. Okay? So all I'm gonna do is to make my life easier. Good lord, Carrie, that looks and smells absolutely delicious. I like to kind of grab a handful of this. You can use spoons, but I'm a hands kind of guy, so I'm gonna go ahead and put on some nitrile gloves. Carrie, how long have you been cooking professional barbecue? Really and truly, this is getting into my fourth real year. Okay. Uh, we dabbled for just a couple of contests a year for a couple of years, just cooking the hometown. And uh, then we started off cooking GBA. That's Georgia Barbecue Association. He's well, gonna abbreviate, we, I'm gonna break it down for you. Yeah, and so, and, and with GBA, you're cooking pork loin, ribs, and butts. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I wanted to branch out and we got into cooking MBN, Memphis Barbecue Network, doing whole hog shoulders and I mainly love baby back whole hogs. Ribs. And uh, then this year I've decided I wanted to kind of concentrate on KCBS and dial it in. And it's been a lot of fun. I'm pretty sure you're pretty dialed in right now. I mean, because uh, in the Chase, the Points Chase series, uh, you were in the top 10 um, in the Chase 1, which is the first right. quarter. And then you also got uh, Chase 2, Chase two as well. So super exciting times for, uh, for Hold Your Horses barbecue. I've had the pleasure of cooking with this guy a good bit. Um, I basically wash the dishes. It's okay. <laughs> um, but I'm going to add some Colton's Freaking Greek over the top. And you can make this ahead of time. So this is a great meal prep. You could do the night before, pop this in the fridge, and that way when you are leaving work, you can use that Wi Pellet Wi Fi controller, turn your Rectech on from anywhere in the world, and go ahead and stick this on. But again, we're cooking on the RT1250. I got tons of room in here. Yeah, you do. I think I'm going to put that right there. Look at this, we've got two integrated uh, shelves. They are solid shelves. You can slide those in and out of the grill. You can easily, easily fit 10 racks of ribs on there. Tons of butts, tons of brisket. Uh, it honestly, we've been cooking on this grill since uh, the end of January this year and I couldn't be happier. I know you got a 1250 on the trailer as well. What is your favorite thing about the RT 1250? Well, I can fit six butts, six racks of ribs on it one time. So what you're saying is you can do like a half a contest on this one grill. Yeah. And the other cool thing is I love how quick it heats up and how hot it gets. Again, there are proprietary things to this grill that aren't available in mm -hmm. your other Rectex. Again, we have a cast iron heat diffuser. It's an all new controller. I'm telling you, it is a fantastic addition to the lineup out there. Chef John, what you got for him, buddy? Uh, we got our good friend Robert Leo out here and he says you could deep fry those chicken skins and place them on top when the pot pies come out. Okay, talk to me, Robert. That's, cool. that's, that's what, what I'm saying. talking about. Cool. So we can pop a cast iron skillet on there, maybe a little peanut oil, and just kind of, you know, fry off a little chicken skin crackling. That's what I'm talking about. But again, this recipe is enough that you can make 12 of these uh, smaller cups, or you can make two uh, nine inch pie crusts, uh, beautiful pot pie. Chef John, what you got, buddy? All right, this was coming from uh, Eddie E. He says, uh, and I mean, John Starsvich. Don, John says, does Terry so have any tips for St. Louis ribs? Tip, question mark. Yeah, go for it, Carrie. You know, the biggest thing is just hitting your tenderness on them. Yeah. Uh, we also I, like cooking a little hotter, too. Well, I do, and I, and I cook all my ribs at 300 degrees. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, my rib process is about three hours and 15 minutes start yep. to finish. And the beauty of those St. Louis ribs, again, they're going to have a, a higher internal fat content. So you also want to probe those for tenderness. For me, kind of my magic number I'm looking for after the wrap is right around about 207 degrees. That'll give you a good tender rib that you can put back on glaze and sauce and still have a good bite to it. Again, if you want more tender ribs, just leave them wrapped a little bit longer. But we like cooking hot and fast. Um, one, I don't want to say we're impatient cooks, but we're kind of impatient cooks. But there's a lot less stall time when you're going hot and fast, whether you're cooking briskets or butts. You're going to notice when you cook it like 275, 300, 325. Well, you don't give a chance for the meat to dry out during Bingo. that way. Exactly. And that's the thing, yep. keeping moisture. And it kind of plumps up a little bit. I love the mouthfeel I get with a hot and fast cook. And again, there's nothing wrong with the low and slow guys. I just prefer, and Carrie agrees, that you know when you go a little bit hotter um, temp, it doesn't take nearly as long to get that cooked, but you get such a better consistency of that meat. Chef John, keep them keep keep okay. coming. So they want to know, what are the advantages of having a cast iron diffuser versus a stainless steel one? Heat. Heat. It's heat. like it's like, Holds heat. It's like grandma's cast iron just pans. Generates when, you get, when, you, when you get that on the stove, you get so much more uh, heat with that thing. And again, the beauty of how this grill is engineered is it gets hotter than the competition. Temperatures all the way from 180 degrees all the way up to 700. 
200 degrees. I had mine at 703 the other day. Insane. On full, you will get the hottest of the hot with this grill. Again, partnered up with the uh, delicious Rectic Ultimate Blend made pellets. Made cleaning my grates really easy. That is a fact. Make sure you have a good <laughs> clean drip pan before you fire that bad boy <laughs> up to full. But I clean my grill with aluminum foil as well. I kind yeah. of ball it up and give the, give the grates a scrub. You can also store that second sh uh, shelf on the back of the, uh, the hopper as well. Again, tons of great features to this grill. It's got that no pinch front folding shelf. I All love new the new side solid shelf. shelves. I'm super it's excited. So much super excited. Easier. But sure, but get on in here 425 for about 25 minutes. You can check these pot pies out. Look at this. We put these on a little bit. Look at the bubble bubble right there. Okay, these are more of like open faced. Mm. We also made a smaller one here just because, you know, we take a lot of pictures. But these are done. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull these out, let those cool down just a little bit because I don't feel like burning my frenulum. And, um, you know, I don't want to mess up Carrie's palate because you know what? He's got it going on when it comes to, uh, to <laughs> flavor. But I'm going to go ahead and see if I can't lift one of these out of here without Chef making Greg. a complete mess. But I'm probably going to make a complete mess. Sure, I got a question for Carrie. Sure. Uh, this is coming from Bill Groves. Bill asks, if you cook at high heat for the ribs, how long do you wrap? Um, usually for me, I'm wrapping it about an hour 45 to an hour and 50 Ooh. minutes. And uh, it usually takes 45 to 50 minutes to get to my finished temp or yep. feel that I'm looking for in yep. my ribs. And again, that's probe tenderness, okay? So if you're going to insert your inserting thermometer or meat probe or even like a wooden well, skewer. Mine's my flex and how I feel with the rack. Yep. A lot of times I'll go in on the third smallest bone from the end, and if it twists loose, I know I'm there. Good to go. Great that's tips great from point. Barbecue Legend right here. But check that out, Sherpa. We put that pot pie cup on there, and again, we sprayed these uh, muffin mm. pu cups. You can see. Mm. Perfect. And I love, like, Look, all of that, like, good, good soaking in the bottom of that. Greg. You know, just, like, getting all yeah, super tasty. Yeah, that'd be pretty good with shrimp, too. That would not, with a little blackening spice yes. in there. Yeah. Or, you know what? There might be a rub that's coming out that would be really, 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 really good with shrimp in there. Maybe some crawfish. You could do like individual crawfish pie. Mm. Chef John knows a thing or two about crawfish mm. pie. Mm -hmm. um, but that's that's the good good. John, you want to come in here and get a sample of this with I us? I definitely do. We got two forks and I got a, a spatula okay, here. I'm so coming. I'm gonna I'm gonna spatula it up. I'm gonna grab one like this because why not? But I'm super excited to be cooking along with this guy, with Chef John, Jody. We've also got Mark Weatherall with Maya Jane Barbecue at Lee Smith with uh, Bubba, Bubba Grills. Grills. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, a good, it's a good time. So cheers, guys. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's good. Real good. Real good. There's something about, like about pot pies and casseroles. Yeah. And like lunchroom favorites that you can rectify and elevate. Yeah. And makes it so easy because, again, you can use this chicken from anything from chicken salad to pot pies to quesadillas, enchiladas, meal prep. So good. You've got 1,250 square inches of cooked space on the side of that grill. Why not occupy more of it when it comes to uh, you know, right. getting some food? Look at this. Set at 425, run it at 426. Yeah. And we were I in and out of the grill. We were, we were going ahead and opening that right. lid. What more can you ask for? Yeah. I yeah, mean, it's going to hold 10 See, that's what I love about the red days. Mm -hmm. It's still super pellet efficient, so you get about a pound of uh, pellets burned an hour at about 350 degrees. So going with that 40-pound hopper, you can smoke all weekend long that's enjoying right. those delicious smoked meats. But Chef that's John, cool. any other questions from the you people before we shut it again. down? I don't know. Let me go check real all quick, right, Chef check Greg. it, John, because we got we got a hog to prep. Okay? Yeah. we got to get set up for tonight. It's going to be a hoot nanny. I think there'll be more than one guitar or banjo around here tonight, so I can say that. We got grills going out all day long. So guys, appreciate you being a part of the Rectech family. If you're on the fence, pull the trigger. I guarantee you will purchase your last grill, um, unless it's a second Rectech or a third Rectech. But if you have any questions or comments, feel free to email me, Chef Greg at Rectech.com. You got Chef John at Rectech.com. And don't forget about Jody. He's running around like a madman. Jody right. at Rectech.com. Chef John, anybody, any other good comments? They want to know there? where can they get this finest recipe? Jump over to rectech.com slash lunch break. Put your email address down below. You can also scroll to the bottom of the recipes page. Put your suggestion in there. We might cook it. We yeah. might even invite you to cook it with us. You I never know. That. But we're, we're, up to, we're up to some uh, shenanigans yeah. around here at Rectech. Now, now but, Chef Greg, if yeah. they have any questions that they need to talk to a real live person, what do they need to do? Give us a call, 706-922-0890. All of the fantastic ladies and gentlemen working up top have been through our barbecue academy. We've got a, a specific class tailored just to them. So if it's a question about a, a cook, 
um, a grill, anything like that. How to re live you know, your erectile lifestyle. And that's so cool. Yeah. If you walk through upstairs in the call center, they can handle everything. Yep. It's amazing behind the scenes. Yep. And all the employees are right here at 4301 Evans to Locks Road. Don't forget, uh, we got movie night this Friday. Um, it's going to be a blast. We got food trucks coming in. Gates open at 6. Movie starts at what, 7? 7.30. 7.30. What's the movie? Uh, that's a great question. <laughs> uh, it's pets. Life of pets. Life of pets. Life of pets. Yeah, life of pets. I was going to say Goonies, but that was the other week. That was the other week. One of my favorite, favorite movies of all time. Yeah. But I didn't again, see you up here for that, Chef Greg. Uh, you know, I live like an hour away. And, <laughs> you know, to go home and come back. I live my rectic lifestyle, you know, in Aiken. It's okay. Chef Greg, how do they get on the waiting list for Academy 2022? Just go ahead and email me, Chef Greg at rectech.com. Put a good phone number uh, for their, for you in there as well. Add you to the wait list, and you never know what happens if you are local and can make more of last minute cancellations. Again, great opportunity if you can get here in a couple hours. But it's time for us to get back to work. Let's do we it. gotta get these grill clean. We got food to cook. We got meat to prep. I got barbecue booty to bust. So from all of us here at the Rectech Good World luck with that, Wide buddy. Headquarters, I, you know, up until last time, sorry, segue. I was the reigning two time you champ. You were. <laughs> so, you know, it's time to go down. It's okay. You know what? When you're at the top, people are coming after you. But from all of us here at the Worldwide Headquarters of Rectech, God bless you. God bless the United States. We'll see you at, at the Rectech. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Rectech Lifestyle. Set it. Come, Come get, get it. it. When the sun starts going down, live your life the way you like. It's Rectech Lifestyle.